Yo, what's up? Bringing you that I'm Mubi Show 18. So in this video, we're going to be going over all of the career arcs and our prices. Also showing you guys the cheapest possible method into getting these career arcs. So this is kind of going to be like a two-part video series, I guess. The first part is going to be the career arcs. And then in the second video, we're going to go over the immortal prices. So that's something you're definitely going to want to see. But with the career arcs, let's just start it off. We got ourselves the table once again and i'll explain everything so first we got billy williams 90 overall now this is how we're gonna do this so right here obviously we got billy williams and then this is his total price so he goes for ten thousand three hundred sixty seven now these are estimates like i said before souvenir prices they change hourly so these were at the point that i made this video and they go up and down like especially hats and jerseys they'll go up you know a hundred or so per hour so those change within that range but for this video, this is what we were at with these numbers. So what we got here is the hat exchange. You need a thousand for the career arcs and bronze go for 30 hat. Bronze hat go for 30 hat per exchange. We have the jersey exchange. That is a 4,000 value. Silver jerseys go for a hundred and then gold jerseys go for 275. And then we have the exchange pretty much position players. So for Billy Williams, we have left fielders. That exchange rate is 35,000. And then we have 74 rated players, which go for 1,541. 75 rated players that go for 1,922. And then 76 rated players that go for 2,404. So I'll just say right off the bat, 74 rated players is always the one that you want to do. I just showed the 75 and 76 rated players for examples. So you guys can see kind of the difference. And then we have the positional program souvenirs which all of these are pretty cheap but we have all their prices in here also so going right to the amount needed you need 34 bronze hats you need either 40 silver jerseys or 15 gold jerseys and i'm hoping with this you guys can see the differential and how much each of these actually go for as well as the total price for these career arc players but for the teams some some players have multiple teams. I went with the two cheapest teams. So for Billy Williams, we have the Cubs and the A's. He actually only has two teams, but some other players have multiple teams. Like I said, we went with the two cheapest ones. But for Billy Williams, we got the Cubs and the A's. And then for the jerseys, what I did was took the average. So with these two teams, we took their average price because, like I said, the souvenir prices go up and down so much that I felt like the average could maybe sometimes take care of that difference even though these ones are kind of minimal but even with that we have a good idea of what these prices go for so for billy williams this is what we have the cubs is obviously the cheaper option 1700 for the hats is what you have to spend and then for the jerseys the gold option is actually cheaper so 15 gold jerseys for 7k pretty much is what you're looking actually 6.6k but yeah if you did all cubs it would be around 6k but like i said we took the average just in case these prices change and then for the exchanging left fielders it's only around 1500 you need 23 players but it's definitely much cheaper than 75 rated players which would be around 3.4k and then 76 rated players that go for around 2.7k and you might be saying it's only a k or two difference but if you're someone like me who doesn't put any money into this game, every stub counts. So we're trying to do this as cheap as possible. And that's what I'm trying to show off to you guys. And then like I said before, we have the program souvenirs. These don't go for that much. But this is the Billy Williams. He goes for around 10k. And that's that. Next up, we got Chase Utley. Now, Utley is probably one of the most expensive ones. Because he has two of the most expensive teams. The Dodgers and the Phillies. So this one is definitely much higher than the rest of them but for the hats you're probably looking at the phillies but honestly like the phillies and dodgers the prices are always like very similar so these can change all the time so sometimes the dodgers are cheaper sometimes the phillies are cheaper when i did this the phillies were cheaper and then we have the jersey exchange so when i was doing this the silver jerseys were going for around fifteen thousand six hundred and the gold jerseys were going for around fifteen thousand we'll say three hundred so gold jerseys much cheaper option and then exchanging second baseman you look you see right here it's around 1600 which is not a bad value and then we have the program souvenirs again so total for chase utley 
is around 27k and th that's definitely one of the most exp i think it is the most expensive for the career arcs but the chase ali is going for around 27k which i think is a lot but that's what that's what people wanted people made the phillies prices much higher because before ali came out philly prices were pretty cheap and since he came out those prices pretty much double and tripled but 27k for chase utley next we got gary carter so gary carter is going for around 8500 so for the hats we picked either the giants or the nationals these were the cheaper options nationals going for around 1200 which is not bad for 34 hats you know that's a good value right there and then for the jerseys, silver jerseys were around 6100 and gold jerseys were around 4500 so the gold option is definitely much better and then the exchange rate for catchers 85 or so were the stubs for around 2k which is definitely not bad so 8k for a diamond catcher 92 overall like that's a really good value that's one thing i don't think people realize is that these values are actually really good as much as you dislike the souvenir system and the exchanging the souvenirs, these prices are actually much cheaper than what they would be if these players were just outright in the market. Like, you would not be getting this Gary Carter card, I don't think, for 8.5k. Let's be real. Next, we got the Paul Molitor. So, Molitor, we have around 8k. And then the teams we went from were the Twins or the Blue Jays. So, Blue J or the Twins were much cheaper right here at 850. So, that's not a bad value right there. And then for the silver exchange for jerseys, it was around 4,800. And then the gold one was around 4,700. So pretty much 4,800 also. But obviously, it's much quicker to get 15 jerseys than it is to get 40 jerseys. So the gold jersey, once again, is the better option. And then for exchanging, it's either first base, second base, or third base. And this one was 64 around 1380 and with the positional programs puts it around 8k that, that's not a bad value for paul molitor on to the next one we got larry doby he goes for around 6600 which like i said these are pretty cheap for these type of players but for the hats it's either the indians or the tigers which are the cheapest they were actually the same price so that one doesn't matter but like i said these change daily hourly even so for the silver jersey exchange that, that was going for around 4,700. And then the gold jersey exchange was going for around 4,400. So once again, the gold option for jerseys is better. And then you have to exchange left fielders or right fielders at 74 rated. 35 stubs is what, what I saw them at. So that's 800 stubs. That's pretty cheap. And then with the positional programs, that's the price. So a pretty good price right there for this Larry Doby card. On to the next one, we got Don Sutton. So he's kind of expensive. He goes for 10k a little bit more than some of the other ones. But this is actually the cheaper method because he also has the Dodgers. We didn't use the Dodgers for these exchange. We used either the Astros or the Brewers, which definitely makes it cheaper. And right here, the Astros were a little bit cheaper. For the silver jerseys, we're looking at around 6,000. And then for the gold jerseys, we're looking at around 6,600. So actually... The the silver jerseys is kind of cheaper. You can get it a little bit cheaper if you straight up did the Astros at around 5,400. But even 600 stub difference, I would just do the gold one because getting 15 is quicker than getting 40. And I should also note, this is putting your own orders in. It's not straight up buying those orders. You got to be patient. You got to be patient when you do this. And with patience, you will get it for a much cheaper price. But going for... 10k you get Don Sutton the next one we have is Hanley Ramirez so he goes for around 15,800 I think he's the second most expensive player and he has some of the more expensive teams the Red Sox the Marlins and the Dodgers but we didn't include the Dodgers in this one so the Red Sox and Marlins for the hats the Marlins was a little bit cheaper for the silver jerseys we have around 12,500 and then the gold jerseys was around 9400 so i will say this like the red sox and marlins for jersey prices they're one of the more expensive ones so sometimes these do reach around 700 or 800 but even with that the gold jersey is definitely the better option and then when you exchange short stops that's going to be around 1500 so we'll say around 16k for hanley ramirez but we have joe torrey right here he's going for around 11,000. 900 or we'll just say 12,000 and for the teams we have the the Mets or the Braves 
Mets were the much cheaper option when we did this. And then for the sil silver jersey exchange, he's going for around 8,600. And the gold jersey exchange, around 8,000. So the trend has been the gold. The jerseys have been the cheaper option. But like I've been saying, these prices change so often that this can go from 8K to 10K, maybe even down to like 6K. That's how often these prices change. But I will say this, the best time to buy souvenirs is after an update. So Fridays, that's probably the time to buy souvenirs is on Fridays in the weekend because prices are normally at the lowest point during that time. And then for exchanges, for catchers, first base or third base, we're looking at around 1400 and then we get to 12k overall so joe tory at 12k is not bad i mean most of these cards i'm not going to say like they're amazing cards but they're not they're not bad overall for pricing point now onto the pitchers we got jack morris so he goes for around 7600 two teams we use were the tigers and the twins and they were the same price at 850 then we have the silver jersey exchange so that goes for around 4600 and the gold jersey exchange goes for around 4700 so obviously with only like a hundred stub difference the gold jersey option is much better and then you have to exchange starting pitchers that's under a thousand or 23 74 rated players so that's not bad at all definitely a much cheaper player in a jack morris he's going for under 8k next we got brett saberhagen he goes for around 6k so i think he is the cheapest player for the career arcs and honestly Saber Hagen to me is better than Jack Morris but we have the Royals and the Rockies for the teams they were the same price those go for around a thousand stubs and these might actually dip lower because like I said these always change but for silver jersey exchange we're looking at 4,000 and then gold jersey exchange we're looking at around 3,400 and like I said these are the averages if you look at like these numbers right here you can even get them cheaper than obviously the average so 6k for Saberhagen is definitely a very good deal I think he is a solid starting pitcher for the exchange rate this is under a thousand Saberhagen for 6k is definitely a good price and then we got our closing pitcher so Lee Smith goes for around we'll say 9,000 two teams Orioles and the Nationals he has like eight teams so it was kind of tough figuring out which ones are the cheapest ones but we'll go with the Orioles and Nationals same price for these ones and then the silver exchange around 5,900 and then the gold exchange around 5,400 so the gold jersey option is definitely much better and I guess if you guys wanted to you could mix and match these especially if you had extra jerseys but if you only have to get 15 of these compared to 40 obviously getting 15 is much better and then you can just sell the silver jerseys that you were to have and then for the 18 pitcher exchange I don't remember what what team it was but the, the starting pitches go for around 65 stubs, so that's around 1,500. You're looking at 9K for Lee Smith, which, like, like all of these, is a pretty good deal. And then the last one we have is Trevor Hoffman. So he goes for around 11,200. Two teams we used for these were the Padres and the Brewers. So the Padres were the cheaper option right here at around 2K. And then for the silver jerseys, we're looking at 7,200 or 7650 for the gold jerseys but the gold jersey is definitely a better option because you have to buy less of those and then for exchanging relief pitcher or closing pitchers we're looking at around 30 stubs for each and that's under 700 so trevor hoffman at under 12k that's a really good deal because this trevor hoffman card is definitely a very good closing pitcher so like for me when I look at this 12k for Hoffman and then you look at like the live series diamonds that are in the market some of those go for 30k I think that I think like the cheapest diamond is 30k for a closing pitcher so this is a good value 12k for him and that's how you got to look at it for like all these career arcs is compare them to other diamonds like live series diamonds in the market and more often than not these ones are way cheaper so here we have all of the career arcs and their prices the total for all 12 is 133k so that's not really that bad for getting 12 diamonds so for all of these pretty much the cheapest options is bronze hats the gold jersey exchange and then 74 rated bronze players and this is around the price that you would get if you did it that way being patient and putting in your own orders and this is around the price that you would get so 
I think that's a good value, but this is part one. The second part of this will be going over all of the Immortals and their prices. Pretty much the same format as this one. So you're definitely not going to want to miss that one because I think people have a misconception. I think people think Immortals are way more expensive than they actually are. And I'll tell you right now, they're definitely much cheaper than they may seem. Actually, one of the Immortals is cheaper than Chase Utley. So... We'll, we'll get into that in the next one, but this video helped you guys out. Make sure to drop a like on it. Thank you guys for watching, and I'm out.